Let's add some flowers and then pop them as well. All right, we find ourselves back in IntelliJ once more. And in this tutorial, we're going to be adding a custom flower, including the potted flower as well. So how does this work? Well, actually, no worries at all. We're going to go to our mod blocks class and we're going to, first of all, copy over the Ebony Trapdoor once. And the flower itself is very easy. So we're going to make a pink rose right here. So we're going to say pink underscore rose. Just making sure that we write this correctly, of course. There you go. And this is going to be a flower block. Now, a flower block takes in three different parameters. The first one is a mob effect. So we're going to say mob effects dot, let's say, levitation for a duration of eight. So very important. The duration here is actually in seconds and not in ticks. I don't know why you wouldn't make it consistent everywhere, but that's just how it's going to be. We can then also delete all of this except for the no occlusion. And then we're making sure that we actually copy over the material here. And we're not going to use wood, but we're going to say blocks dot dandelion. And what we then do is we copy this and we're going to make the potted underscore pink rose making sure that we also choose the name here. Now, one thing that we need to do, and this is very important, so this is of course a flower pot block with only the block behavior here with different types of parameters. The first one is gonna be null and the second one is gonna be mod blocks dot pink rose. So this is the potted pink rose. Now, what's very important is that we actually do not want to call the register block method on this. We actually want a new method. So we're going to copy over the register block method that we've created right here. And we're going to copy it over to right here. And we're going to rename this to register block without block item. We can then also delete the creative menu tab right here. And we can then also delete the register block all right here. So in theory, we can even make this a little bit easier. So we can even do this. So instead of, you know, just putting it out there, we can just return this immediately and then made it one line. Isn't that nice? Why do we need the register block without block item method? Well, we want to do this because we the potted plants don't have a particular item associated with it. What you do is you put the pot down and right click with the plant and that generates the block. This is why we need the register block without block item method, deleting the last parameter here and then everything should work fine. Now, in theory, you could also just call blocks.register right here would also work totally fine. However, sometimes, you know, if you read register block without block item, you immediately know what that means. If you see blocks.register, maybe that takes you, you know, a couple of seconds more. That just makes it a little bit more obvious what is happening here. All right, but after having added this, we're not done just yet. We need to go into our tutorial mod class. And now we actually have to use the setup method. So everything inside of the setup method, we can just delete. And inside of here, we're going to call the following. We're going to call event dot in work, then we're going to make a runnable. So this is going to be just like a supplier. But instead of, you know, returning something, we're just going to do curly brackets. So it should look exactly like this. No errors should be present at this point. And then inside of here, what we're going to call is something crazy, but this is going to be fine. So we're going to say flower pot blog. And then inside of here, we're going to say pots blocks dot flower pot. So written like this. So we're basically casting the flower pot block into a flower pot block class. And we're going to say dot add plant mod blocks dot pink rose dot get ID and then mod blocks dot potted pink rose. There you go. And this will now ensure that the pink rose, when we right click with it on a flower pot, turns into a potted pink rose. We also need to add a item block render type here. So we're just going to copy this twice and then we're going to change this to a pink rose right here and this one to the potted pink rose. So we need both of them and they need to be cut out. Very important. So this is not translucent. This is going to be cut out. And now, of course, on to the JSON files, one of our favorite things ever. So I'm going to copy over, of course, the translation one more time. This should be at this point routine. Nothing crazy about this. The blocks.json, I will also copy over everything here, of course, available to you in the description below, GitHub repository and individual gists as well. You can see normal block states JSON for both of them actually just pointing to a model file. So just a normal block model file. The block model files are also, well, they're a little more interesting, I guess. So let's just copy those over as well. So you can see that the pink rose one actually has a cross parent and then the texture is also cross because usually flowers are displayed in a cross pattern when you put them down. So that's why this is the case. And then the potted pink rose also has a particular one and that is going to be the flower pot 
across in this case just makes it a little bit smaller because you know the plant inside of the flower pot is a little bit smaller than well the counterpart inside of the world so then let's do the item now we only need an item for the pink rose because once again the audit pink rose does not have an item associated with it because we're just we're going to right click with the pink rose here you what you can see pretty much the same now the only difference here is once again that we're taking a look at the block texture in this case because the block texture and the item texture are the same they're just displayed a little bit different so that's all that there is to it so we don't have to have two different textures well the basically the same texture but two different times we're just going to take the one from here so this one this is how it's being displayed inside of the inventory and then in the world it's just made into a cross pattern and that's how easy that can be now one thing i wanted to mention with the potted pink rose which is very important we're not going to go into too much detail but under the external libraries if you go down to the net minecraft client extra 118.1 or whatever your version is in the data folder minecraft loot tables right and then inside of blocks you can for example take a look at a potted and for example take a look at the potted allium make sure if you want a proper loot table for your potted plant make sure to basically just copy this over you know or select it here press ctrl c ctrl v and paste it into your own folder so your own data folder loot tables as you can see of course the potted plant is a little more complicated once again than just a normal loot table so just keep that in mind you can just copy this over once again everything usually all of the vanilla stuff is available to you right here in the external libraries so i can i cannot recommend enough just going down there and copying stuff over from there as well but that is pretty much all that we need for the both the plant and the potted plant to work so let's see if it works all right we found ourselves back in minecraft as you can see the flower has been successful Successfully added to the game and not only that of course the flower pot also works totally fine so both of them working exactly how you would expect them to isn't that just great now one tiny thing to actually change in the potted pink rose here is that instead of copying the dandelion you should probably copy the potted dandelion just making sure that you know the sound and stuff like that is correct otherwise everything should be totally fine right and that is already it for this tutorial right here i hope you found this useful and you learned something new if you did i would very much appreciate a like and don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials just like this one so yeah